Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. So I'm back doing the readings. Guys, I didn't do one last week because I was actually redesigning my website. So if anyone would like to book a session, for example, you're able to hop on the website. It's brand new. I It looks kind of like the old one, but it's, uh, it's a different system I'm using. So you can hop on there, book a session if you like, or you can sign up to my free newsletter. It's really easy to sign up. You just have to put your email address in, nothing else. And it's a free quarterly newsletter where I will be giving upcoming star transits for the quarter for each sign. I'll be writing a couple of lines per sign kind of thing. And you'll be able to find out, okay, what, what's the big movement or what's the big thing going to happen for your sign? So do check that out. Now, as always, you can pick from group one, group two, group three. So you can pick via your favorite number, which is often how I do it. But if you like, you can pick from these lovely little objects. So I've got a chameleon here. Check that out. Isn't it cute? So I got that this week. It arrived and I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm definitely doing pick a card this week. Uh, we've got a scorpion here. No need to be frightened. Yeah, he's very cute and blue and gold. Two of my favorite colors. <laughs> All right, and what else have we got? We've got a little frog, which is very cute. In the description when I bought this, it said rose gold and green. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll definitely go for that. That's actually rose gold, not regular gold. All right, guys, well, pick whichever inspires you and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Maybe you chose by number. Maybe you chose by this lovely jewel here, the chameleon. Now, I did a little post with a chameleon on my Instagram. Those of you who follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. And I believe the chameleon is like the spirit totem animal. It's all about having a strong intuition, actually. Isn't that interesting? So that's a signal that you've got a really great intuition. And as with all of my readings, I ask that you use your intuition as I go through these cards. Take a look one by one. See what, see what speaks to you. See what pops into your mind. So as you're looking at this, you're seeing this violin. You're seeing this green growth. Maybe you're seeing the full moon. If you're seeing the desert, you definitely would be seeing this lovely lady who is enjoying the music. So we've got Joy Music as the first card. We have got, for Tarot, we've got the Ace of Swords Upright. We've got the Page of Pentacles Upright. This one always pops out of this deck. I have no idea why. I shuffle really well, guys. And yet this one has come so many times. It's just amazing. But I think I know why. I think there's a very good reason for that. We'll talk about that in a moment. We've got the King of Swords upright. Beautiful. And we've got this card, which has also appeared before, Extremes, Hot Moon. Have a look at that. It's pretty amazing. I have to fit these on somehow. And the last card. And by the way, yes, I am wearing my puffy jacket. It is freezing cold here in Sydney, Australia. But I like being outdoors. I just love the open air something about it. I don't know, maybe my intuition works better outside. I have no idea. Well, it kind of does. Okay, and the last card is this Vertex Andromeda. It says, honor your soul, bestow virtue to those who fathom your value. We've got the symbol for Aries here, and we've got two Venus symbols here as well, and I read the description. I had a brief look at these earlier, and I do that because I know the tarot cards really well, but these I don't know, so I have to look up this one. And I looked it up, and 
It's really interesting because this is a fixed star. Vertex is a fixed star that's in Aries that Ptolemy believes contains Venus energy. Isn't that interesting? So we've got the presence of Mars and Venus here. And look at that. If there was ever a card for Mars, it's certainly manifested. It's right here. I mean, if there was ever a card for Mars and Venus, look at that. We've got Mars here. I mean, that, that's very... It's a very masculine scene. This man, he's, he's sweating. There's this burning moon, sun, whatever that is outside. I mean, it says hot moon, so let's take that as a moon. But there's a book here. And I think he's sweating from hard work. Even though it does kind of look like a nighttime scene, and it, it looks like... It looks like he could be doing other things. But I, I do, I don't know, I, I get the sense that he's overworking. There's an extreme energy here. Yet look at this. This is quite Venusian by contrast. And she is losing herself in the music. And it's just completely beautiful. So we've really got a strong presence of Mars and Venus here. When I was looking at this spread as a whole earlier... One of the things I was thinking is that your guides are definitely saying, one of the things I think they want to draw to your attention is, is how intelligent you are. Now, you might not think so. You might think, oh, come on, I'm not that intelligent. Or, gosh, I go on YouTube and I see, like, you know, I don't know, like I'll watch, okay, I'll give you one example of mine. I'll watch Ali Abdul and I'll be like, oh, man, he's so smart. I wish I could be like him. So you watch other people and it's that kind of thing. No, 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 you are incredibly sharp, okay? So that is coming through really strong because you've got the Ace of Swords, you've got the King of Swords. It's very much about mastery here with the King. You kind of reach that top level and there's, there's even a new beginning. Like you've got, yeah, so I, I feel like you might be graduating to a new beginning with your intellect kind of as a reward for the mastery that you've attained. You've definitely attained some level of mastery with your mind. And you might not think that you're clever, but I'm telling you, you really, really are. It's a gift. And when it's a gift, very often we take it for granted. And why do we take it for granted? Because we think, oh, well, anyone can do that. Everyone can do that. You know, I've seen so many people do this. They don't value the gifts have been given because they assume everybody else has that ability or power as well. And you would be amazed. Not everyone can think the way that you do, you know, and that's really, I, I got a strong vibe when I was looking at these earlier that there's a, they're your, your guides, your angels are wanting to say, well done. They're wanting to say you are very sharp. You're using it really well. You might be overusing it though. And we've got this book here and we've got this man who's sweating and there's a bit of a vibe of stress, extremes. You might be overworking, okay? Or you might be overusing the mind. So there is this energy of, well done, you're great with the mind. But I think it's time to become a little bit more Venusian to... To switch off the mind a little bit, I think that'll be a good thing for you. Become a bit more Venusian. Also, use your intuition uh, a bit more as well. The thinking mind is not everything. And intuitive intelligence, emotional intelligence, these things are really, really important. And they've been undervalued in patriarchal society but look at the patriarchal society it's crumbling all around us isn't it so these things are going to come up more now the things that we've neglected our emotional well-being our intuitive well-being our you know the side of us that can receive mars and venus i was thinking about this um oh gosh this was like yesterday when i was thinking about because i'm going to do a video about mars maybe and i was going to talk about the fact that you know, how women are being more Mars-like. Women have all this freedom and they're being more Mars-like. Well, that hasn't been a great thing for society. It hasn't been a great thing 
for the dating scene, has it? You know, um, because, yeah, I mean, women are doing everything themselves and men are feeling a bit like, well, what can I do for her? You know, th there is there is some of that. So this could be a message as well of like if you're a female, um, get back into your female polarity. If you're male, you know, get into your male polarity, sure. But if you're overworking it, do you know it's, it's like in the collective we need a lot of female energy to balance out all this heavy masculine energy so if you're a man watching this then maybe do yeah tune into your feminine side and strengthen that strengthen your intuition strengthen your feminine side strengthen your uh, emotional intelligence all these things because as a man that will be an amazing amazing service to the collective right now because you're helping up the uh, feminine energy so interesting we've gone down all these tangents i didn't know <laughs> what we were gonna cover okay so uh i had a rough idea but wow okay there's all this masculine feminine stuff comes through this the other card that i haven't really spoken about this one's pretty simple it's this one this one keeps coming up all the time when i use this deck for these readings oh and you've got a kookaburra laughing can you hear that oh how auspicious the kookaburra is saying yes there's new levels of income going to open up for you the other thing that's right when i was looking at this earlier i was thinking that i think i think there's going to open up more possibility for you to make money from what it is that you love to do if you currently don't love your job you're going to okay you are going to progressively move towards work that you absolutely love to do and that may mean that you're dropping this world here okay this um thinking masculine world and you're you're going to be making money from your music or what it is how you sing you know the bird just sang the kookaburra just sang for us it's like how do you sing and for me it's astrology is when i chat about astrology and i get all excited and i like talking about it and you know and yeah and uh, this is kind of the path i'm on very much i'm at a page of pentacles level of earning again you know i'm starting from scratch i'm starting from zero and um building up slowly and and i'm getting the opportunity to to make a career out of what i love and i'm telling you if you want to do that that's on the table for you okay so that's what this is new sources of income new wealth coming in uh you making money from your passion from what excites you maybe the the day job has been extremely stressful you've been overthinking you've been working too hard and you're very much wanting to create this new this new world here it says honor your soul bestow virtue to those who fathom your value value this is a very venusian thing of value you know you have to value your gifts first uh, and not take them for granted and uh, others will value them too all right so okay far out look at that look at the message you got all right so it says here wow so maybe some of you are working on some ancestral healing at the moment it says here your own family will talk shit about you when you're in the process of breaking all their generational curses this ain't for the weak denzel washington what an amazing quote guys that is absolutely amazing and i'd say that if there are some generational curses that you're breaking I'm going to say that it's to do with wealth. Uh, I'm going to say that you are not going to be content with just living on an allowance or just living on a small amount of money. And maybe that has been a pattern in your family. Maybe that has been a bit of a thing. Uh, this overworking to earn, say, small amounts or something like that. I think you're going to break free of this pattern. If it feels like a generational curse, I'm telling you, you're you becoming aware of the patterns in your ancestry in your family all that kind of thing just you becoming aware of this is enough to start to break all of this stuff down the other thing that you're going to break in terms of ancestral healing i do think is in relation to the masculine and feminine polarity we've got here wow this has turned into a very interesting reading with this quote i was not expecting that and i totally forgot what i'd written <laughs> i forgot who's in here well we've got denzel washington for a start okay the things around masculine and feminine polarities i think you 
can, in terms of degenerational stuff, so perhaps there's been this thing that everybody needs to work hard, like a man in your family, even though you're actually female. When you look at your birth chart astrologically, you've got all these other gifts, you've got all these other things to do, and you shouldn't have to be working like this. Um, and I think you waking up to your true inner nature, you know, you just waking up to it, is breaking down the curses of the past. I'm telling you, ancestral healing is phenomenal. It's real. It works. They do get angry when you start the the spirits in your in your line. They do. They start to get angry. They can make life very difficult for you when you start waking up to this stuff. They'll start putting blocks in your way. But I'm telling you, they can try their games and what they want. The ancestors, but. It is not, and your own family, I mean, look, yeah, I know, that's not easy. You've got to walk your path. Massive message coming through, group number one. Uh, walk your path, regardless of what others around you think. And you've got this sharpness, this is what you need this for. You're going to need a king of swords. You're going to need to speak, possibly. You're going to need to speak up, stand up for yourself. Be true to you. You're going to do it. You're absolutely going to do it. Group number one, this has been such a good reading. I hope this has been a good, good reading for you. Let me know. I'm really surprised by that quote. It's like, whoa, came out with these cards. But yeah, no, honestly, lack and limitation, that is an ancestral thing. That is absolutely an ancestral thing. And you're going to work it out. You're going to sort it all out. So group number one, thank you so much for joining. And we are now going to welcome group number two. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, welcome to your reading. Or if you chose this beautiful scorpion. How sweet. <laughs> oh, I love these little charms. They're so cute. Okay. Let's see what cards have come through. Now, as with any of my readings, I think I forgot to say this in group one. Doesn't matter. As with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. All right, depth, lake, wow. This is so beautiful. It's funny, I was looking through this deck the other day and I was hoping, I've never drawn this card before and I was hoping, oh, I hope I get to draw this card one day. And it came today. So happy about that. You also got this oracle card release. Oops. Oh yes, I remember you, group two, You've got a great spread. Okay, so we've got the moon. How beautiful. You've got the star, all upright. Isn't that wonderful? I love your spread. This is such a good spread. I'll talk through why in a moment. Oops. Yeah, you've got the world upright. Wonderful. And I'm not even going to attempt to say this word, but you can read that there. We've got the symbols for Capricorn and Aquarius, and it says fertility and prosperity. Feed your soul with love and abundance will flow. Wow, such a great spread, guys. I was blown away by this spread. So much really beautiful energy just right here, right here manifested before us. So what am I seeing? I'm definitely seeing a deeply healing time think you're in need of some deep healing and it's going to be self-healing you're going to do it on your own it's going to be so amazing this star card this is very much all about healing rejuvenation becoming renewed it's a really beautiful card and I, and this is your reward 
after some serious moon time. Both of these are kind of reflective of the moon. In fact, we could even count this one here as quite a moon type thing as well because it says release, surrender. And that's something we often do associate with 12th house, uh, the all is one, surrender to God, you know, all this kind of thing. So, and these energies, look at that. We've got the moon and we've got this young lady here submerged in the water. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there we go. She's gone deep, deep into the lake. And we've got a lot of water here. Uh, oh, how fascinating. This crab is like a bit of a scorpion as well. Isn't it? It's kind of similar. And this, do you know, when I was looking at this card, I was definitely getting a sense that you need to stick your head in the sand. Okay, you need some like ostrich time or crab time. I guess crabs go into the sand or something, but it's like you need to submerge. You need to disappear a little bit. You need to, and what you need to do is luxuriate in self-love, in self-healing, in, in feelings of the world being absolutely fine. Okay, now I know the world is not in a great, uh, is not in great shape at the moment. That's true. Hold on, I just want to make sure that this doesn't... There we go. Okay. The world is not in great shape around us. That's true. But what you're going to do, if, if you're feeling called to do this or feeling inspired to do this or, you know, if, if you're able to do any of this, which is to stick your head in the sand and do self-healing, be self-loving... Fill yourself up with love. If you can do this, if you can fill yourself up with love, feed your soul with love and abundance will flow. If you can really feel loving vibrations, loving energies at this time, that is going to be a massive, massive service to the collective. Okay? Because there's a lot of protests, there's a lot of problems going on in the world, there's a lot of people who are scared, anxious, nervous, you know, I'm worried about very important things. Like, am I going to have a job next week? What is this? You know, like the medical system's in a pickle. I, I have this to sort out. I can't see a doctor. There's so many problems. There's like a world full of problems right now. But if you can stay in the vibrations of um, sheltering yourself from the news, from what's going on out there, that's going to be a massive service to, to the whole. I'm telling you, it's just going to be so amazing. And, and the world, look at that. When you come back up, look at the world. You've got the world as your treat. You're going to have a healed world as your treat. You know, I, I feel like this is a picture of Lake Como in Italy. Imagine that. Imagine if for the next, you know, and let's say... I don't know how long it's for, but I mean, it could be for a few months, it could be for a few years of you just putting your head down, doing your own thing. When the world heals, it'll be there for you to enjoy, to, you know, you'll be able to travel, you'll be able to do the things that you want, but it, it feels like there's just need some time to... You've got to go within. You've got to go within self-healing, self-nurturing, self-love. Release. Release any of the negativity of the world. Okay, so this is not, you're not releasing like a personal thing. I think you've got to release any negativity of the world. Or people, and this is a thing, people are kind of, like I've had this as well. People come up to me and they're like, oh, but don't you know this is happening? Don't you know that's happening? And it's like, I do know. I'm not going to get down about it. I'm going to stay positive for the collective. You know, it's like I'm going to stay high vibe. You know, um, that's so important. And, and so release, release. If you've got negative people who are barging in telling you, hey, don't you know this is going on? Don't you know you should be worried about that? You know, why are you doing all this, you know, healing and self-love and putting your head in the sand? Why are you doing that? Release those people, release that energy, release, be like, do you know what? 
thank you, but I'm gonna, I am going to keep being high vibe. And it's not a selfish act at all. My God, we, the world needs it right now, you know? Okay, so I just drew one of these and let's see what comes. Let's see what the guidance is. Okay, Dostoevsky, right, what do we got here? Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. Wow. The great, the really great men must, I think, have great sadness on earth. Yeah, Fyodor Dostoevsky. Wow. Yeah. And that's, I think... I think you know that. I think you're tuning in. I think you're feeling what the world is going through. Even though this is upright and this is a really positive card, but I mean, the fact of the matter is the world is in a really tough situation right now. And I think you're tuned into that. It says here, pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. And look at that. We've got the depth here. We've got the depth, this lake. Look at that. And she's having to do this. She's having to submerge and go deep because because it's too much and it is sometimes uh, I'm, I'm not gonna yeah sugarcoat anything I know I know things are tough out there and I know we've got a lot of loved ones that we're worried about um, and sometimes it's, we're powerless there's little we can do and what I am gonna say is I, I want you to reframe like what it means to stick your head in the sand it's not denial or running away or, or going away or you know um it's not that it's a service right now it's a really important service because there, yeah there is sadness on earth see this great sadness on earth yeah i know but it's it's for a time i'm telling you this is this is going to end this is absolutely going to end and the world is renewing when we heal, when we renew, there is some pain, there is some suffering. That's, that's a part of healing and renewal. We come for the contrast, because otherwise we're in bliss. And yeah, I would imagine that too much bliss gets boring after a while. <laughs> you know, we need to shake it up. And we come to earth for, for the drama. Look at that, this snake eating its own its own self kind of thing like yeah yeah wow guys this is deep but you're there's so much love and beauty and self-healing and just time out just time out release the people who are being negative um release the news release all that kind of thing release go deep go deep into your own self-healing go deep into self-love and fertility and prosperity i think this is the ultimate message that we're going to finish on here because it's so good and it says feed your soul with love and abundance will flow yeah definitely you're building a new earth through your vibrations you're doing it and it's a massive service to the collective so thank you so much group two Thank you so much for your loving energy. You are doing the work. And I think this is confirmation. The angels have come in to say, well done. Every drop of loving energy you give to yourself and others right now is really lifting the whole collective. So thank you so much for tuning in group two. And we're going to welcome group three. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, you are in the right place. Maybe you chose by the group maybe you chose by this cute little frog <laughs> very sweet put that there as with any of my readings take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't so we've got pressure transformation wow it's a pretty intense beginning there the tarot You've got two of cups in reverse. You've got the six of swords upright. You've got the surrender card.
beautiful. Wow. You've got the Page of Cups upright. More tarot. And we've got this card, which I did look up. It says, Creativity and Alchemy. Fortune and prosperity go hand in hand. So is your ability to sustain what you already have. Beautiful. So group three, what I'm seeing here with this spread, on apologies, our page of cups is a little bit off the edge. I know, I'm going to move everything across as I talk about this. So I'm seeing that there might be a little something happening in your love life, potentially. Maybe things aren't going quite right at the moment. Uh, maybe there have been some arguments or some tensions along the way somewhere. But I'm not seeing this as being a big bad thing. I don't think this is like, this is not breakup energy or any of that. It feels like there's something that's just not quite right in the love life area. Maybe you're single and maybe that's frustrating you. Uh, what I can tell you is I can tell you that there, you've totally manifested a renewal in love. Okay, so you've manifested either a renewal of more love or better love easier love flowing between the two of you in your relationship if you know things have um, been, been a little bit rocky lately i feel like you've manifested some more love i think there's some old issues that you're going to move past you're going to move beyond these things okay so there's an energy of you moving past some old dynamic in your love life Maybe it's some past heartbreak. I'm not necessarily seeing heartbreak. I'm kind of, it's more like a renewal of love. Okay, so and if you're single and you're frustrated with the dating scene or something like that, I'm telling you there is new love on the horizon. Okay, so you've definitely manifested some new love and you might want it in a particular way or in a particular form, but look out for love in all of its forms. Okay, no matter how it comes to you you know maybe it's and it's small things love is always coming through love is you know warm sunshine on your face when you need it or a smile from a stranger or there's so much love in this world that very often we just don't see but it's there right uh i get a sense that there is someone around you who is under a lot of pressure now i'm sensing that this is someone around you it might be you you might be under some pressure but i am sensing that i feel like there's someone around you who's under a lot of pressure and the thing i wanted to draw your attention to is brene brown had a chat with russell brand and they were talking about this concept of do you think the people around you are doing their best and very often when we get angry at someone we think god this person's such a slacker you know they're not doing their best i know they can do so much better but what if that person was actually doing like their best? Let's say they were doing more than their best. What if they were keeping a really tough scene together, you know, or keeping it together, but you didn't know? Um, I kind of feel like there's someone in your space who's going through a massive amount of pressure and they you might be frustrated with them but they might actually be doing better than than you realize um that that was definitely one of the things i got here so what i'm going to suggest is that just leave them to it uh i don't necessarily see that you can change or fix or heal this person around you or, or whatever this thing is it's it's going to be your best thing to do is going to be to surrender, to leave it to God. That's going to be the best thing to do. Leave it to God. And you can see here, this young boy, he's giving it to God. And can you see this, this shadowy figure? Like that, it's, I feel like there's some figure in your, there's somebody in your zone or sphere or who's under a lot of pressure. They're frustrating to be around, but guess what? They might actually be really doing their best to not completely fall apart type thing. I don't know. It's, it's just one of the feelings I get. Um, 
and you you might have all these ideas on how to help them but what I'm going to say is that uh, the first rule of healership this is like the first rule of Fight Club or something I've never seen that but I hear everyone quoting that first quote anyway first rule of healership is um, is you have to wait to be asked okay if this person doesn't ask you you can't give them any love or support or help okay so you've really got to t you have to turn away from this person and you have to turn to God and just say God can you can you can you carry this for me because it is too heavy and I can't I can't I, you know and you probably can you probably can help that's the most frustrating thing but like you know that it's not going to help kind of thing really really tough spot that what you can do and I do think that what you need to be doing is taking some time out from this person or this situation and you need to be busy okay your creativity uh, focus on your money focus on building wealth focus on building your dreams making them come true put your energy there and that's going to be a really good thing for you you kind of need to be busy and not idle that is one of the things that I'm getting um, through this spread that it's going to be good for you to to engage in things that are important to you you know uh, I'm going to draw from this. I'm going to put the lid on. I didn't do that earlier. <laughs> I'm going to give it a good shuffle. I don't know what's in here, by the way. I've, I wrote these like two weeks ago. And then I got busy building my new website, which is done. Okay, oh, this is a little one. Mm-hmm. Some short and sweet message from the universe. Okay, let's see what we've got. Hang on. Oh, wow. Abraham Lincoln. Okay. That's a good one. Discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. Abraham Lincoln. Wow. Yeah. You've got to build your world massively. And this is a, a bit of a yeah thing of discipline. I think the love life situation is going to sort resolve itself. I don't feel there's anything you need to do there, but I feel like you need to stay away from this person or this situation or, and send them love, you know, like silently, quietly in a way that they don't know. Um, I'm sending them love right now. Like it'll all be okay. Surrender, give it to God and you get busy and you, yeah, find that discipline of um, choosing between what you want now and what you want most. Yeah, that's the message. Wow. Group number three, I got a good feeling that things are really gonna work out for you. Everything's working out in your favor. You just need to put your head down, build your world, build, make your dreams come true, you know, because it's that creative power that we have that's the exciting thing we come to see what can I do you know give to God what you can't handle and then you use your creative power to build what you can build that's the excitement of being here all right well group number three thank you so much for tuning in and yeah look if you've got any comments below please uh, let me know sometimes it takes me a while to get back to you but but know that I do read everything and your comments mean so much so thank you so much everyone and stay tuned more on the way